Good day, mates. Turns out I've been butchering the Gaelic, by the way, saying Dia do it. A commenter gave me the correct pronunciation, which is Gia Jewich. So, yeah, thanks for that. Got a new one today um, from Tahiti, La Arana. Hey, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and the video where I made this uh, smokeless fire pit using two stainless steel pots has been getting a lot of views. That also means I'm getting a lot more feedback, which I love. And one really great comment I got was, be chastising me a little bit for using new pots. Yes, this is a sustainable fire pit that uses fuel efficiently, but I used brand new pots, which is it maybe the most sustainable way to do it, given the fact that these pots are probably made in China. So, boring old white guy, thank you for your constructive criticism. Today, I'm actually gonna remake this fire pit using stuff that I bought at Goodwill. Thank you, thank you. No luck at this store, but I'm gonna keep looking. All right, store number two. a lot smaller than I was looking for. But it's got holes in it already, that's interesting. I think I can do something with this. For cheap. Although I think this one uh, doesn't look like it's ever been used, but it is something that is being given a second life even if it wasn't used in its first life. Several of you did mention that using reused material would be a more sustainable, a greener way to do this, and I can't agree with you more. In this remake, I'm also going to be using a lot of the feedback and suggestions and improvements to my process that you all made in the comments as well. So thank you so much for the feedback. I am still teachable. <laughs> this old dog is still willing to learn some new tricks. Keep it coming. So what I'm working with is inside half of a steamer pot, it looks like. Got some perforations in there, as well as underneath. And then a stainless mixing bowl. And what was cool is that these fit inside each other nicely. I think I will raise this up a little bit to get that closer to the top. Normally I would invert this pot and um, cut a hole here for the fire opening. However, because I've got all these perforations and this pot is solid, I'm just gonna use uh, the opening on the top. I am going to restrict this opening a little bit by using the lid. I'll probably cut in about an inch or an inch and a half, cut a ring around that, and then that will be a removable nozzle, if you will, that the nozzle restricts the airflow a little bit, allows it to pull that preheated secondary air in from the gap between the two pots. That's actually a feature you see on a solo stove. There's a little ring around the top edge. I am gonna put this up on some legs and I'm gonna use some L brackets for that using the existing holes here just to get it off the ground. It'll help with the airflow in underneath, which I want. Since I've got a lot of small holes, I need to make sure they're all getting utilized. I can always enlarge these later if I need to, if I want more airflow. I'm actually gonna cut these off just to have a little uh, tab for the foot, and I can reuse this piece for something else. And I'm only gonna use three of these. I like a three-legged stool because it doesn't wobble. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the legs now so I can get some paint on them and it'll have time, they'll have time to dry. Eyes and ears, JW. And shoes.
this looks like enough space right here for airflow between the, the top of the outside pot and the top of the inside pot. However, this lid has a recess on it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this out so I can see better how much space I'm working with once this insets. I was thinking about doing this with the jigsaw, but I think I'm going to just clamp it down and, and use the grinder. You can see the gap I'm working with there, and I think that might be enough. So I'm going to use this half inch foam that I already had in the bottom here as my spacer to mark out the holes to bolt the two pots together, of course, with the gap. Those drilled pretty well. On the last fire pit I tried to use this hole saw and it was not working but I think it was because I was going too fast. It This may be dulled down. I need to see if I can use the slower speed and higher pressure method that you recommended in the comments and see if I can get this to work. I'm gonna switch my drill speed to one. I'm gonna shape the 4x4 four four a little bit to round the surface a little bit so I can get better pressure on the back side of the cut. A little bit jagged it was grabbing a little bit but it did cut a lot better better results than I had last time that's for sure I'm gonna try one more it's about the same a little jagged but it's probably a little more difficult because I'm drilling into this curved surface here. I gotta clean that up a little bit so I don't slice my fingers. These holes are a little bigger than I think I want. Of course that's the size of the hole saw I had. I want to try the step bit again as well at a slower speed and I'm gonna use a pilot hole ahead of that. I need space behind that for this to go into. It's definitely really helping having that 4x4 to be able to put pressure on this.
So I did pick up a new bit. I did a 5 8 metal cutting bit. I'm gonna see if I can't finish these up with the step bit. A lot of you had recommended using an electrician's punch to cut these holes. That might have been a little tricky on this curve. Use that in my next build. All right, so this is a little wonky with the different size holes. I'm gonna try and clean this up on the inside a little bit. Now it's time to add the legs, which I'm going to do with nuts and bolts. I have a flat washer on the front side a lock washer on the inside. I do need to enlarge these holes for the bolts and drill a second hole in the leg. I painted these legs black as a design accent, so I like the idea that I have a little contrast there. I'm gonna enlarge the top hole above each leg to attach the inner pot. I'm gonna have to redrill two of the holes to match this spacing, but I'm going to line this thing up correctly and then mark them and then take the inner pot out and redrill. Right now they got the three bolts on. I'm gonna tighten them up and make sure this is centered. All right, I'm happy with this. It's not exactly perfect, but you know how this channel works. This will be just fine, I think, for airflow and See how the top fits on. Plenty of space there for airflow to come up around the edge. All right now I'm just going to trim these bolts off. One last final touch. All right, time to light it up. It 
a commenter was asking what propane torch I've got here. And it's actually a blue fire torch uh, on a burns o -matic canister. I'll put a link to that on Amazon in the description below. Going to start off my fire here with an old Boy Scout trick, dryer lint. It's hissing. Got some green wood in there, apparently. <laughs> Looks like it's getting plenty of good airflow. I'm not seeing any secondary burn right now. But I am seeing good ignition down low. Definitely good airflow to the bottom of the fire. See some sap burning off. Now I'm seeing a little secondary air coming in on that front edge. Not a lot of smoke. All right, so there you have it, a redo using Goodwill purchased stainless steel pots and a couple of angle brackets, some nuts and bolts. There's the size comparison. It's a little bit smaller, still super functional. It's throwing off some nice heat on a cool night. Thanks again for challenging me to make this a greener project. I, I love all of the feedback and suggestions and ideas and even the constructive criticism that I get in the comments. To me, that's one of the best things about YouTube is the ability for us to interact. Train's here. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I, I wasn't sure when the pot was smaller than I was hoping for but this is super cool. And I hope you enjoyed watching it and hope this inspired you to go make one of these. This is not a difficult project, just a couple of tools to make it happen. And there's certainly an opportunity to improvise and use the tools that you've got. As always, my mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. I saved a lot of green by sourcing my stainless steel pots used from Goodwill. Super cheap project and it's sustainable because these are getting a second life. Of course it's also sustainable because I'm using sticks and twigs and this smokeless fire pit is burning them really efficiently. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Saturday.